Welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Now that we have the culprit's name, we gotta go all the way back to town. Uh, hold on, hold on. Um, d uh, dump less. Um, dimp dimples. Uh, d d depression. Um, God, I can't remember his name. Can't believe you don't remember. It turns out his name is. Uh, 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 Come on, dude. We need this. He's coming up. Some. Um. Uh, uh, ah. Do. Pliss. Yes. I thought I said that. Oh. Oh wait. No. Maybe I said dump less. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we're going for like duplicitous again. Ah, <laughs> oh, the gold one got away. Of course he did! I bet he was worth a lot of star points, too. It's like a metal slime, I bet you. But I'll never know. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Have some confidence in yourself. You'll get one one day. I'm a shadow. Sorry if I feel a little dark, if, if I'm acting a little dark right now, yeah? <laughs> I would actually love if Mario's entire demeanor changed based <laughs> on his current element. I was like, oh, yeah, like in, man. Like in Mario Sh uh, Sunshine when he has, like, no health. Yeah! Huh! There's a few Mario games that do that. Like, when you're low on health, he just goes, Woo! Oh, wait, that's Mario 64, actually. You know, I just recently learned that a lot of the stuff that's just a little added bonus in Mario 64 was done for the, I believe, an updated version? Like, version 2 of 64? Like him falling asleep and having gibberish. That was an English-only thing until the second version came out. I bet the, uh, the chromatic scale of the eight red coins was the thing they added, too. So let's yeah. check out Veil, real quick. Uh. What? Well, that one healed, and... Uh-huh. There that goes one that away, one. That one turned invisible. Okay. That one's charging up. Okay. And then they attack anyway! What? Well, that's stupid. Like, that's this, actually worthless. This is miserable, because now... Oh, I'm gonna have to rely solely on Vivian to kill these guys. I'm gonna take care of this guy first, because he's got a spike helmet, and I can't have that. And Vivian's asleep. Oh, and nope. Mario's more asleep. So what's gonna happen is now every single turn that I fight this thing, Mario's gonna just go back to the same amount of sleep he had the previous turn. Wow. It just never ends. This is atrocious. <laughs> this is terrible. I hate this part. I like Vivian's special ability that allows her to hit things that are flying. And now... What? The audience fell asleep? I'm like, what, what does that mean? Does that mean I, I, I can't appeal anymore? Let's see. Uh, I okay. can still appeal. I guess it's just like a little Easter egg? I, I, I guess. That's weird. I yeah. mean... Sure, I guess. That was, that was pure misery. God. And it's all because you're a shadow boy. All you know is misery. Ooh. Happy flower. Can't use it because I already upped all my badge points. Well, I'm, I'm about dead now, so let's try not to... the heck? <laughs> He's coming for you. He's coming for you. I'm coming for you, Mario. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Daisy. Chill. Well, they call it Crazy Daisy for a reason. I'm gonna get you, Mario! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna just... take a little bit of uh, precaution and just give myself 10 HP. I, I really need that. Just in case. You never know. I could hit one of these three Goombas on the way back to town and they could just utterly destroy me. 
<laughs> Ten more Goombas show out out of the woodwork. Oh, come on! <laughs> it's all because you're a sad, depressed Shadow Man. Who no. can't hit for shit. All right, let's guess Rumple Duplis's name. Still trying to figure out his name, though. It couldn't be Dunsparce. Maybe... Premise. Doompless. Let me spell out for you. D. O. O. P. L. I. S. S. Doopless. There it is. <laughs> what? <laughs> Can that be the thumbnail? Whoa! 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 whoa. <laughs> Oh, uh, I think the best part, an alternate plot twist, the bird was totally playing you for a fool. Uh, name please. So where would he go to hide? Where the fuck do you think he went? Are you kidding me? We gotta go back to Creepy Steeple again! No! Why? I was giving you so much praise, Paper Mario, and now you do this so to me? So much... Oh, this chapter is so much backtracking, it's insane. Disgusting. Deplorable. And people call this the best Paper Mario. Feh. Oh, luckily, this is one of the few, uh... You know, long stretches of open road without any sort of... Landmarks to see, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, the aesthetic is still really cool. I like the... I guess I like how the plot progresses in this chapter. It's I... clearly didn't... It's clearly didn't have very many ideas for this one, so <sighs> they... But uh, the one idea they did have was switch bodies, which... I guess is kind of neat, but that still means I have to keep going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Like, from a gameplay perspective, this just doesn't seem fun. It's just like in the, in the last chapter where we had to go through... What, 30 different opponents? That just it seems like busy work to me. I mean, I know there was an intriguing plot thread going on, but it's still just boring. It's the intriguing plot that uh, makes up for the mundanity. That can yeah. appear from time to time. Yeah. Like, there's got to be a, a, a nice... <sighs> hmm. I don't want to say this. I want her, there to be equal amounts, fun gameplay, and story elements coming together to where it doesn't feel like I'm just wasting my time. Well, I will, uh, I'll tolerate a tournament arc more than needless backtracking. Yeah, I'll go for that too, because at least, uh, a lot of the enemies were different. Yeah. If not just variants are, on enemies we are, we've already we had. We are literally just trudging the same stuff back and forth, back and forth. And now with these uh, lovely little effects happening on stage, the, s the same things are happening and delaying the inevitable more. It also feels like I'm not getting enough experience points for the effort I'm putting in, you know? Yeah, I noticed that too. Maybe this is why they took out experience at Paper Mario, because they found out that, you know, it was kind of useless in the first place. They got, they got a very uh, basic experience point system, so I, I think it's easily broken. And at this point, you're just fighting the same things over and over again. Like, if you actually wanted to level up in this chapter, you would have to essentially grind Crazy Daisies. Not doing that! I'm not even fighting one. Ah. The Crazy Daisy begs to differ. No, 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 no! Ah! As I said, the Crazy Daisy begs to- Ooh, the gold one! Get it! Oh, I'm, I'm going for that. Yep. Come here. Amazing ah, Daisy. Get, get. What a great name. Get it. Gotcha. On fire, I think. Yep, on fire. There goes uh. that one. No. No. Ah. No! Damn it. Ugh. If only Gumbella was here to tell me what I was missing. Turns out the Amazing Daisy just wants you to have a great day and doesn't like fighting. Kill it! Kill it! 
I'm a shadow man. There is no such thing as a great day. Oh, a fright mask. Oh, cool. Oh, I can cosplay as Shadow Bowser now in my shadow self because I'm a depressed boy. To avoid the. <laughs> Four of them. <laughs> uh, I'm not. Uh, uh, fright mask. These guys are scaredy cats anyway. They're all gonna fucking run away. Dude. Yeah, that's what I thought. That looked awesome. See, we need a threatening Bowser back. Uh, it's not gonna be this game. No, it's not gonna be this one because he's played more for comic relief, but... You know, the first one, when he had the Star Rod, I thought that was a bit intimidating. A little bit. I think it was intimidating in the Super Mario RPG. Uh, kinda? But then again, yeah, he, had, he was also he, played for laughs. Well, he, he was both intimidating villain and comic relief. It's just that there was another more intimidating villain that intimidated him. And that's actually what I like about the Mario RPGs. Is, you know, everybody working together. I always love when heroes and villains come together and it's like, well, let's beat the bigger bad guy. I just noticed that there was a ledge under there that I could have rolled under, but it's far too late for me to care about it now. No, what about the secrets, UDJ? Well, go get the game yourself and go get him yourself, yeah? I'm yeah. trying, but it keeps ending up in failure. <laughs> Speaking of which, what are the prices we're looking at now? I'm going to keep this a, bit going. It's been a little while since we last checked. I, I would love it if by the end of this series, you wind up with your own copy. Oh, that would be amazing. Uh, Vivian, you can hmm. take the stairs, you know, dear. Uh, here we go. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door GameCube. Complete in box. Yeah, it's got the manual, it's got the disc. Uh, $76 plus $750 shipping. Good God. I wonder well, if that's... A hundred, you'd, be, you'd be paying 100 bucks for one of the finest uh, Mario games of our day. Ooh, it's a black label, too. It's not uh, there, Player's there Choice. You go. Here you go. Disc looks all right. Dude, you need to cut your fingernails. Okay, anyway. Back to the plot. Let's put an end to this little charade. Uh, woohoo. It's -a me. Wait, what? He's gonna sick all of our friends on us! Oh, no, you fools. Uh-oh. Guys, snap out of it, please. Come on! Don't you know me? I'm... I mean, shouldn't the indicator that we're actually speaking be the, you know, the tip-off? And now Vivian finds out who we really are. Shit. Yeah, actually, yeah. Surprise. So, uh, yeah, she's not going to help us anymore. Wait, what? She found out we're the bad guy. But, uh, no. So we're, so we're going to take this guy alone. Wow, really? Yeah, really. So what happens we if... We can't run uh, either. God. What happens if you action replay this fight and you accidentally give yourself max stats? Does this become impossible? Why would it be impossible? I can take him. He's a pushover. I've got so much power. He does four. I do seven. I actually I just... That just reminds me of... When I when I first got Persona 3 and you're like, Here, try Action Replay. It'll get you through the game a lot quicker. I was like, yeah, cool. <laughs> and uh, then I played the answer and got my ass handed to me because of max stats like that. Well, I got my ass handed to me because I got the wrong fucking weapon. <laughs> that had a roadblock. But she's gonna join us now! <gasps> Yay! Alright, friendship rules overall in this dark, depressing shadow self. It's like, it, you know, instead of going with my sisters, you know, my family, I'm gonna go with you, Mario, the only person who ever showed me kindness. Yeah, see, this is why you need to be kind to people, everybody. It's like, ah, that would be charming if it weren't so sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm being your friend out of... 
out of the fact that I want you to be happy. I will not hurt you, Kumbala. I won't. But you're gonna fi fight Vivian the- Oh, wait, she still thinks that she's a Shadow Siren, so mm -hmm. I guess that- Yeah, yeah okay, I get it. Uh... You know, they got the Shadow part down, but a Shadow Siren? I don't see her singing Sailors to Their Deaths. I don't well, know, it's, maybe. The same, it's the same thing as a regular siren, did they just do it at night? Oh, that makes sense. They got Halloween decorations up too while they do it. <laughs> they always have Halloween masks on. Oh, so close. Oh, no. We, we got him. I don't even need a special move for this. Dead. And... dead. Damn. That's All right, it. I killed me! That All means right. I win! Ah, uh, see, there you go, guys. Check it. I'm the genuine article. Woo-ha! Yeah, get out of here. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> Shell winked. I like it. I gotta wonder, is he a doppelganger or a duplganger? Maybe that's where they got the idea. See, there's layers to his name. Duplicitous, duple, dupless, yeah. Double. Dupe. Duped, yeah. And then his last name is Schmackeldorf. <laughs> My father came from Bean Kingdom. <laughs> Vivian has really joined our party, so we got five friends with us now. All right, look at all the friendship we got. And now, for real... We got the Crystal Star for really reals now! Good. Good. And we learned Art Attack! Oh. Oh, and now officially... Four really reals now. Awesome. Mario defeated the rogue who had stolen his name and appearance! Now Mario has four crystal stars! That leaves a mere three more to find. Dang. And that means his quest to collect all the crystal stars is more than half over. It's about half over, to be honest. That last level's really long. Now Mario heads up <laughs> towards his next adventure with his new friend, Vivian. But what about Beldum and Marilyn? And what became of the doppelganger, Duplus? Uh, he'll be, he'll be in a later chapter of the manga. Right now, we've defeated him for now. Actually, it's only in the stage play that he shows up again. Oh, well... Gotcha, the whole then... game's a stage play! Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, maybe he becomes a Shadow Siren. Oh, maybe, maybe. Ah. For now, gotta go talk with the Peach and see what the space Nazis are doing. This guy kind of looks like a shiny variant of an x knot <laughs> Throw a Pokeball at it. Get him. Ah, yes, my rarest, most prized minion. Go get him, my shiny x knot One out of every 256 uh, minions is shiny. <laughs> Wouldn't that cause an error code? <laughs> We've gone over 255. <laughs> well, we're running a 64-bit now, so it, 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 I think ah. it, things are good for a good little while. Gotcha. We'd have to run in, like, the billions or maybe even trillions before we make any kind of overflow. Dude, overflow Mario. Is that a ROM hack that <laughs> that's real? Please. Please let it be. Well, there's plenty of NES ROM hacks where, you know, the only way to really get through is to know the tricks and tips of, you know, clipping through walls and shit. So 
So what's oh. uh what's tech want us to do now? I need you to please buy me a fedora, for I wish to talk about my little pony on the internet. Can you sell me your bathwater? I have learned a new term, Peach. It's called simp. I wish to indulge in the simp lifestyle. Executing simp.exe. A new terminology I heard today. And Peach all of a sudden has a hundred coins in her pocket. What the heck? <laughs> I would like to donate to your OnlyFans, Peach. Excuse me, m'lady. So, let's have a quiz. What do you say? Okay. Okay, we who answer, is the fairest in the land? If we answer the following questions correctly, then Tech will let us use the communicator to talk to Mario. Okay... So, he's warming up to us. Question one. What will happen if you collect seven crystal stars? Uh, the thousand-year door opens. Correct. Number two. What is the goal of Grotus, leader of the Exonauts? Uh, to conquer the world. No, obviously. Doesn't look like a superhero type, and he's probably already rich. Nah. Question three. What is the legendary treasure that waits behind the thousand-year door? Ooh. Uh... What could it be? Uh-huh. Uh, an ex... Uh... A thousand-year-old demon's soul? Correct. Ooh. Question four. Oh, no! What does Sir Grotus wish to do with this ancient demon's soul? Cherish uh, it always. Bring the demon back to life. Yep. God, this got horrible. And now, question five. What is required to seal up the demon again? Uh, crystal stars. Man, you're good at this. So, does he give you another chance if you accidentally pick the wrong one, or does this scene just go away? No, he, he, he's basically, he is essentially feeding us information under the guise of a quiz. Okay. That's very clever, actually. It's like, what is two plus two? Three? No. Five? One less. Three? No, one more. Four? <laughs> there you go. There you go. Good job, A+. Plus. First try. Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna run a system update. She called me weird. I like it. Oh, well, now that we've uh, seen our piece with Peach. <gasps> Bowser? Ah, oh, show me the king. The king! Oh, the blimp. Oh, well. But the king! <laughs> there we go. I, I I actually want to see Bowser go on that blimp, and it just can't lift him entirely. So apparently <gasps> so apparently Bowser was at Glitzville totally by coincidence. Because, oh, really? Because now they're getting reports that there's something going on in Glitzville, even though we've already came and went and got the other star somewhere else, so... Wait, he just jumped on the tracks. That, uh, my lord. You know, why fly commercial? <gasps> Clown car. Clown car. When first yeah. class is all you need. Hell yeah. He just looks so happy in that car of his. I know! <laughs> He's just so happy! Like, like chubby cheeks, a great big smile on his face. <laughs> he is in his element right now. I was born to ride. Yellow! <laughs> Throws the bag back at her. Ah, uh, you know, just the wind in his sails. Look at it blowing through his hair! Oh my god! When's the last time we changed the oil? <laughs> oh! <laughs> yes! <laughs> no, King! <laughs> oh, and we landed in 
fucking Wind Waker. <laughs> Into the drink he goes. <laughs> so let's play. What? No way! It's a water stage! Oh, wow! Oh, look at him swim! Look at him swim! <laughs> I love this so much! Doggy paddle, King! Doggy paddle! You know, all of a sudden I can forgive a bit of backtracking. <laughs> if this is the final result, hell yeah! Oh, he's big now. This this was worth going through all that garbage. <laughs> just to, to have a chance to set the undersea on fire. <laughs> he's huge! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, so now I have a question for you, science man. Uh-huh. How hot does that fire need to be for him to actually be able to breathe underwater? Hmm. Lava flows from the ocean all the time. That's how we have underwater volcanoes. Mm hmm. My bigger question is how is Bowser breathing right now? Well. But I think nothing short of uh, the surface of the sun's temperature would have to be coming out of his mouth. That's some hot fire. So we're talking like many thousands degrees Celsius. Yeesh. It's a hot Bowser. I mean, enough for him to blow fire so hot that it, that it evaporates the water around it, so that way it creates an air bubble so it can actually create fire. Oh, you dickbag. <laughs> Got it. I was waiting on a time anyway. I didn't even notice the timer. I was expecting like a da 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 but nothing doing. Oh, that was amazing. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, hey! Ah, <laughs> oh, my adoring fans! Ah, <laughs> oh, somebody's a Rockhawk stan. Yeah. <laughs> she, she already came and went from Glitzville. Yep. And that's actually a good way to skip what we've already seen while making it fun. See, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> they invited me to a rave, King! Yummerly! Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. My collector rock hawk sticker. No. Well, now Bowser's back in Rogueport, so, uh, we gotta keep an eye on that. Uh oh. We're gonna make our way back to Rogueport 2 next time on Let's Play Super Mario, Paper Mario, Super Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Paper <laughs> Super Doorman, whatever. See you next time. Bye!